So we actually happened guys, I actually hit 1 million subscribers on YouTube, like wow, thank you guys so very very much indeed. So the journey has been a crazy long one, 10 years plus, it's had its ups and downs, probably more downs than ups, but you guys have kept me going, the support even when things have been tight, views low, money bad and so forth, it's been you guys that have kept me going. I won't lie to you, I wasn't even going to do a video for this celebration, my mindset is and always will be the same, a number doesn't define anybody, I don't and in fact I am no better than any of you watching this just because I have a million subscribers, it's just a number in my opinion and it doesn't make me any more entitled than any of you. I mean yes I've put in so much trying to make this work, switching games, leaving games behind, changing this, changing that, but hard work is a part of life and that is my mindset, work hard and one day will pay off. So yes, 1 million subscribers, like wow, I remember hitting a thousand, that was a super proud moment for me, 20k, 50k, 100k, 200k, 300, 400, 500, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1 million, that is a massive massive milestone, I honestly didn't think I'd make it, destiny slowed right down and I was stuck on around 980 to 990k for what seemed like years, but then came Borderlands, which has seen my channel hit numbers I don't remember ever hitting in the past, not since the Black Ops 2 emblem days and destiny 1 days anyway, which was a long long time ago. So if you are here for Borderlands I want to thank you, if you are here for destiny I want to thank you, if you are just here just to show your support I want to thank you, you guys are the biggest chunk of my sub base and without any of yours I would not be here recording this. So where did this all start? Well it started back in 2008, I believe I used to just jump on YouTube to watch people like Whiteboy 7th Street, x -Jaws, Hutch and a few others play COD, now I was a massive fan of COD back then so those guys were like idols to me, but I was actually quite handy with a sniper too and a throwing knife so I decided to try out a few recordings on my own, trying to be like your idol as you do where I propped up my phone on some old Marvel VHS video tapes and just recorded while I played. You guys remember those old intros? What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Call of Duty video, I may bring it back, you never know. Now at this stage I never intended on making a living on YouTube, I didn't even know that was possible, so I just went with it and posted a video here and there, that was the Modern Warfare 2 days. Then the next Call of Duty dropped which was Black Ops 1, this is where it started getting a little serious, Black Ops 1 introduced an emblem editor, where you could design emblems with 12 shapes and you could put that emblem on your gun. Well me loving all things arty, and growing up studying art and design, graphics and so forth, this was me set, I sat there for days upon end creating emblems, not with the intent of putting them on YouTube, just because I love doing it, and while my YouTube had literally dried up at this stage, probably 5 or 6 months since I last posted, and probably 4 or 5 months into the release of Black Ops 1, but I decided to jump on Google and see if anybody else had created any of these emblems, and I found a guy on YouTube called Token, who at the time I think was the only person posting emblems on YouTube, and although his emblems were epic, his style wasn't like mine as I could literally create anything. Yep, by adding 12 shapes together I could literally create anything, it got to the stage people where I could see somebody else's emblem in game and I could literally create it in my mind with the shapes in the game. Same when someone asked me to create an emblem and showed me a reference picture, I could literally create the emblem in my head not even being on the game. So from this moment after seeing Tolkien's emblems I decided to get back out those VHS tapes and set up recording emblems and then progressing it onto making tutorials for people who asked for a certain emblem, I did this daily for way over a year posting sometimes 3 or 4 videos every single day, learning more and more as I went on about YouTube and that actually some people did do this full time, so I got up to about 70-75k subscribers and at this stage though it was much harder to get a partnership on YouTube. And although I had the subs, I had the views, I was struggling and I literally was about to quit, just stop and concentrate on work elsewhere. So I was ready to stop, I was ready to quit and then I noticed I got an email back from a company called Yoush, run by Big Snacks and KSX Silencer at the time, they offered me a partnership and while people from that moment, my life changed. Snacks and Chaos don't really know this but my whole channel is only still here because of those guys. And that was that people, I worked every day from that moment forward trying to build up an audience and although 75k subs at the time was amazing, in fact it's amazing today, Black Ops 1 started to die down, 
and because Infinity Ward and Treyarch at the time rotated games each year, I was desperately waiting for Black Ops 2 as Call of Duty was the biggest game back then. And I knew if like Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2 had an emblem editor, it would be amazing for my channel. As at this point I was the number one emblem editor on YouTube and everybody on YouTube who played Call of Duty more or less knew this. So Black Ops 2 came out guys and boom my channel flew. At one stage I was getting between 1000 and 5000 subs a day which was just absolutely ridiculous. So I went on for a long long time posting daily emblems and from this point many people had seen my knifing skills from Black Ops 1 days because what I'd do is I'd create an emblem and I'd showcase it on the back of a weapon called the MP out on Black Ops 1 and I'd always run around getting throwing knife kills. So I would from time to time upload montages of sniping and throwing knives and I did this for a long time, emblems and the odd montage video. Probably did this for about 2 years but at the time also jumping on the bandwagon of GTA 5. Uploading that pretty often also which saw me get some incredible views which still to this day guys is an incredible game full of opportunities for content creators. From GTA I went to post daily watchdog videos which in my opinion to this day guys is still the most fun I've ever had on any online game. The online hacking feature in Watch Dogs was absolutely incredible. I played and posted this for a long long time also but the game wasn't the most popular but I did indeed build up an audience. And because Black Ops emblems had pretty much dried out, I was getting fed up playing Call of Duty, I was waiting for that next big game. And in 2014, after Watch Dogs I believe, Destiny 1 dropped. Now to be honest, I wasn't initially interested in the game, but my two pals, Easy Now, who some of you may remember from YouTube, and a guy called Deadshot, literally drilled it into me that this game is going to be huge and I should definitely try it out. But honestly people, I was not interested, to the point of I had the beta. But I didn't play the beta, I actually chose to go away at the time it was out. Now what sold me on the game was Easy Now telling me about the Hunter subclass and how it was perfect for my playstyle. And to be honest after I learned about it, I was sold. And to this day guys, I am a Hunter main. So credit to Barry Easy Now and John Deadshot for kicking me up the arse and drooling into me to get Destiny. And in reality, Destiny took my channel to another level. Yeah, it had its ups and downs, but even the down times were still getting me better views than what I was used to in the past with other games. So I stuck with it, and it literally opened up opportunities guys like me don't normally get. I was getting invites out to Seattle to the bunch of studios, I was getting invited all around the world to play DLCs early and so forth. It was absolutely ridiculous. This continued for a long, long time, and with the release of Destiny 2, I wouldn't say things were better than what they were at Destiny 1 launch, but they were good enough. As we all remember what Destiny 2 was like upon launch, it wasn't the best game. But Destiny 2 grew into what's basically the foundation of my channel. Destiny 2 is about to go large also again with Shadowkeep DLC. That with Borderlands, I'm going to be a super busy man. But yeah guys, that's literally the story of my life on YouTube. It's been a crazy, crazy ride. Here's me hoping YouTube don't purge and take me back under a million because that would be super awkward. So yeah, a few honourable mentions. A massive thanks to each and every one of you guys watching and supporting today. A massive thanks to the Call of Duty community for starting my YouTube career off. A massive thanks to the GTA and Watch Dogs community also. Watch Dogs 3 soon baby, I cannot wait, I am super excited. And a gigantic thank you to the Destiny community for the love and support, as well as the Borderlands 2 community for breaking records on my channel. Also my wife and daughter, who without I wouldn't have anything to thrive for. But yeah guys, to the future, hopefully we go another 10 years at least. So yes, I want to end the video on a massive, massive thank you for 1 million subscribers, an achievement a milestone I never thought I'd ever hit. Thank you again. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you on that next one.